Hello guys, Matt Thwaites here. So this is gonna be the first MMGS vlog for the 10th anniversary celebration. Yeah. So anyway, for this one, I'm gonna do a follow or continuation of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. More of my thoughts about it. So, but with that, I wanna basically start with this sort of the elephant in the room and. Sort of a bit of a controversy. I know, I really don't wanna talk about it, but it is something that kind of felt like it should be addressed just for the sake of the community. And also it's gonna be a response to Cassidy from Go Nintendo and other people who basically talk about this topic. And that is, Masato Sakurai basically was harassed on Twitter. So, for people who don't know what's going on, Smash Bros. Ultimate, will have all the characters from the past games okay that's basically the theme of the game and they already introduced three new characters daisy as an echo fighter which is you can say sort of a clone to peach inkling and ridley the reason why ridley was in because of the fan outcry yes it is an outcry to some extent people wanted ridley how come ridley's not on wii u you should put it on ridley should be in the game you know but like whatever just put him in the game even so, Sakurai time and time again have said that he's too big, but what happened was, he said, you know what, oh, what the heck, let's just downsize him, let's make him small, make him a playable character, and there you go. So, the Ridley fans were happy. And then, because, well, that's it, that's the new character, and remember, Bale Trenton said there's going to be more surprises throughout the t uh, days and months before the release of... Smash Brother Ultimate, which is December the 7th. So basically what happened was, during the E3 28 theme Nintendo Direct, of course the Smash Brothers segment, I still stand on my rating for that one, they showed some of the SS characters, some good ones, such as some new ones also, like Bomberman, the Squid Sister, some, and then some other Nintendo IP, I'm guessing, that's only in Japan, and of course, well, Luigi. So, a lot of probably the fans thinking, if you're not this trophy, chances of being a character probably going to be to zero. So, Bomberman being an assist trophy, well, that means it's not playable. That's what the assumption and my guess. And I mean, I could be wrong about it, but it kind of makes sense. So, while Luigi, once again, for the third time ever since the introduction of assist trophy, here's an assist trophy. And apparently there's a lot of Waluigi fans. I mean, I like Waluigi. I remember the first time he was debuted in Mario Tennis for the N64. I mean, he looked like, oh, it's, it's Luigi's rival because you got Wario, Waluigi. So basically what happened, the fans, I guess some of them were either really being serious and passionate. There's some like jumping the bandwagon, just trolling Sakurai. However, some of this kind of went too far. And this is a response to Cassidy basically as he quoted, vile. So, what does it mean by like, vile? Well, I didn't did see, but from what I heard for some, there were some people were doing some meme Photoshop, but a very pro inappropriate picture. Not like, you know, triple X rated, no, no, but like, uh, you're trying to make a reference to something that's inappropriate, from what I, uh, from what I heard. And then some people were just saying, basically, I'm professional, saying rather than, oh, I'm disappointed in the game, or like, oh, you suck. Like, a lot of negativity, let's just say that. To a point that when Sakurai saw a lot of these negative tweets and some of the very inappropriate on file, he had to block people. And, and I said it before, I'm going to say it again. When you block someone, you better have a really good reason or you're a coward. He had a good reason. People were harassing him. That was the problem. They were harassing Sakura to a point that he had a takeaway time developing the game, deal with his Twitter, block every single people who just basically harassed him. I mean, he could just put his Twitter private, but then what's he telling you with his true fans? I mean, it makes it easy for someone, but again, it was kind of sad that to a point that he has to take away time developing the game to deal with rabbit fans blocking them one by one. I mean, come on, what's the consideration there? This thing got so bad that even Reggie was well aware and had to address the Waluigi problem. 
in the latest interview, he basically just said that Sakurai it is well aware. He is well aware, but there was some theory behind it that the reason why Waluigi is not a playable character. One, of course, a common thing is that Waluigi doesn't have his own game. I mean, if you could say Dance Dance Revolution is the ultimate bad guy, maybe that's on the GameCube. But the bottom line is, is that yes, Waluigi's only been in spin-off franchise game like Mario Tennis. Mario Golf, Mario Kart, Mario Party. So you kind of notice why he doesn't really have his own game. So, I mean, I can understand. Like I said, it's one of the new character, Luigi's rival. But, I mean, I think that was the concept of Waluigi. That's why he's there. So, like I said, uh, Reggie basically addressed it and said, Yeah, people are well aware that people want Waluigi. Sakura is well aware, but... Here's the thing now, like in my personal opinion, and I may sound like a jerk about this, but at this point on, if Sakurai actually decides to say, oh, let's make Waluigi a playable character, that's going to hurt his integrity and to some extent his, well, I'll say to some extent pride, but his integrity, because by actually putting Waluigi in the game, after what some of the fans did, or maybe even just troll, but the bottom line is, they were just basically harassing Sakurai. It looks like he was caving in. That's the thing. Like, would I want Waluigi in the game? Well, maybe it is interesting. But with the situation just happened, I don't think it's a good idea. It sends the wrong message. That means you're caving in through the trolls, through the the passionate, like, uber passionate one. But, the, you know, the haters, maybe the... Who knows? But the point is, you're feeding on the negative. Oh, well, maybe... If we harass Sakurai, maybe he'll play the character. No, that doesn't work, and that's wrong. I mean, you say, well, they did it with Ridley. Well, to some extent, maybe, but there was a lot of passionate, passionate fans that really wanted Ridley in the game. So, like I said, Sakurai said, you know what, screw it. Let's just put him in to shut the fans up. And I know that sounds harsh, but that's what it looks like. So, hopefully, to some, maybe not for a long one. Because if he did, then it kind of sends the wrong message, I know. So, but it is kind of unfortunate that Sakura is getting harassed for a character. I mean, he's putting a lot of stuff in the game and he's, people still want more, you know. But world of business, you know, you can't please everyone. So, this is the end of my thoughts on Sakurai basically getting harassed because of Wild Luigi. The next part will be is more on my opinion about the brand new port. And of course... My th overall thoughts of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the whole thing what they talk about during E3 2018, so stay tuned for that one.